today's my first day in about three weeks doing anything boxing. The week before I left Elgin, I stopped it. But I have this lone, broken-ass bag in the corner here. I'm hoping it can get the job done, man. I just want to, I should be fine. I just want to hit some bag. I just want to get some stuff done, do some boxing shit. We'll see how it goes. My macros are currently 500 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein, 100 grams of fat a day. I got to admit, it's kind of hard to get it in. So I just got done doing boxing training. I did rounds of jump rope, shadow boxing, bag work, did a lot of extra cardio on the step mill. So I am depleted. I am spent. I got caught up working. I had to shower because I smelled really bad. I'm going to show you what I'm going to have post-workout. This is one of my favorite post-workout meals. It gives you about 100 grams of carbs, gives you 25 grams of protein. That's a four to one ratio. That's great for recovery um, and minimal fat. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So first I have oats, straight up oatmeal. One, two, three, four. That is a cup of oats. Next, MTS whey, peanut butter, cookies and cream. 25 grams of protein here. Scoop of that. Boom. Next, honey, locally sourced. This is a great source of honey. Um, not only that, it can help with allergies. It does, because bees, you know, they collect the pollen, you get micro doses of it. I know it's kind of bro science-y, but people say it works. I don't give a shit. Honey's good, stained energy, super food. That's one of the reasons I made the outright bar out of it. Mm. All right, after honey, that's our sweetener because oats are pretty dry. Unsweetened almond milk. Hopefully there's enough in here. You don't need much. All right, unsweetened almond milk. Oh, that's gonna be good. The honey just adds a delicious realm of sweetness to it. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to vacuum that up. Katie's gonna be pissed at me. I make her mad every single day. It's what I do best. It's a gift. So I like making this kind of like a trail mix. Like I like making it dry, not too wet. I don't like my oats swimming in water, you know, or, or milk. And I'm honestly only using like one or two ounces of milk. It's a very, very, very low amount. Look at that consistency, all right? So it's basically just enough to bond the oats to the whey, banana, I don't feel like making any more dishes because we're living in a very small apartment until our house is ready. Take it in, smash it up. Boom, there we go. Then top it off, whipped cream. Bon appetit. There it is, my favorite meal. Oh. Bulking fudge. You're gonna enjoy this. Trust me. 100 grams, about 15 grams of carbs from honey, 20 from the banana. It's 35, 60 from the um, oatmeal. It's about 95, 100 grams of carbs. Round up for the whey. Whey is about protein is about 25. Fat, maybe three to five grams. There you go, guys. Enjoy the gains. Boom. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, and creator of the Outright Bar every day. I'm getting more and more like Mark and less and less like, kind of like a frog, like Kermit the Frog on steroids, on androgynous hormones as a female, transitioning to male. Things are weird. But I wanted to just give you guys an update on what's going on. So yesterday we went and we saw the house. It was awesome. We saw that on the last vlog. So we should have stairs in there. We have stairs, we go upstairs and walk around, look at our rooms and our house. Things are progressing and big news. Katie and I went to the DMV. Number one, there was no line. The woman we talked to said it was the slowest the DMV's ever been in like five years. So obviously, like Moses, I parted the sea for us to get our licenses. So we went in there. We are officially card carrying residents of Tennessee. So pretty excited about that, honestly. I'm one of those guys, when I move on, I move on. I don't know if you guys have read a book, Choice Theory, but Choice Theory is about like, you can't fucking change the past, right? You can just really make your future better, look towards the future and away with the past. 
my wife and I use that a lot in, you know, our, our marriage, you know, and, and after we went to counseling and stuff, choice theory, a lot of therapists use it. And, um, <clears throat> you know, while I am not adverse to Illinois as a state, other than the crooked ass politicians, the high taxes and the shitty weather, I love my time there. I want to just be here. I want to be Mark from Brentwood, Tennessee. That's it. Or if you want to say it where people know where the fuck you're from, Nashville. All right. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm from Tennessee. This is my spot. I'm buying a Titans hat. I'll be with it. Um, and about Illinois, like I was just thinking about this. Like I know this might be outside the box, but like honestly, I looking back, I'm just being real. Like I'm just speaking here, and Katie's right there, so she might get mad at me when saying this. Like, and this is almost a big compliment. Two things that I think were amazing about Illinois. One is the schools. The 301 school district that we went to in Illinois. Nothing but great experience. Right, Katie? Yeah. Amazing schools, amazing people, amazing education. The other thing was honestly their soccer club. Campton United, you know, my, uh, my kids had a great time there. And while they went through some you know, changes in personnel and everything. I think the guys we ended up with at the end who we still talk to this day, Scotty and Colbert, were really instrumental in our kids' development. And we really realized that the last week we were there when they threw a party. Now, I've been there for five years, six years, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Never once have I seen them throw a going away party. So they really appreciated us being loyal to the club, me coaching the club and our kids really being a part of that club. And Thomas is the best Campton success story ever. Thomas literally started on the worst team possible. Arguably is the worst player and ended up playing up to a team that not only won the Chicago Cup, but also played up a year versus 07 when they were 08 team and were dominating. They were really good. So, and he was one of their better players. He started a lot of the time. So I'm really proud he's undersized, but the kid is the Campton success story and I'm really happy to have been a part of that club but right now give me the blue and white jersey man Tennessee soccer club you know what I'm saying that's where we're at you know my neighbors people around me you know I just I'm absorbing it but honestly like other than that Illinois was a fucking sham the weather sucked honestly I didn't get to see my brother a lot because we worked too much and that was the reason I moved there and he ended up moving 15 minutes away from me which fucked it all up to me so really I'm not going to look back, but if it wasn't for soccer and school, I would say I shouldn't have moved from Burlington, North Carolina and gone to Illinois. But I needed to get out of North Carolina because I sold Cybation. It was a toxic situation over there and I had to get out, right? Why was it toxic? Like, dude, I was like, that was my identity. As soon as that company was gone, I had to leave. You know what I mean? Like I had to leave. That's when I was able to go. And, and the thing is, I met really good friends in Illinois. You know, from Colton to Dr. Stu to all the people at Basement Gym, Mike and John and all the people there. You know, it's like great people, great people. And Bryce and all those guys. But I'm not going to mention everybody. If I missed your name, it's not that I don't like you. But honestly, dude, I belong in the South, man. I belong in a place where we have conservative values. The sun is shining most of the year. And everybody says shit like y'all. And you have brisket on every corner. This is my place. This is my home. I should have never left the South. I'm not a Northerner. I am much, I'm much too conservative. Um, my values, my fiscal values, to be paying Illinois taxes and deal with all those whack jobs in Illinois. Just me being real, being real. Also, dude, I'm from Cali. All right, I can't deal with the weather in Illinois. And I know Katie wasn't hip to that shit either. I don't think anybody likes that shit. The only reason people stay in Illinois is because they have a job there or they have family there. No one's in Illinois because they want to fucking be there. Just be real. Just be real. Let me talk about my training today. I had to box. I had to. I fucking miss it, dude. Like I was going through some videos yesterday and I was watching some of my old sparring sessions and I'm like, fuck, I miss this so much. So I'm not sparring, I'm getting ready for bodybuilding. I think once to twice a week, I can do a boxing-based workout. Let me tell you what I did. All right, 
So I started, I did 20 minutes of step mill. So, you know, I warmed up. Then I did six and a half minutes of jump rope, which is essentially two, three minute rounds, but not taking a break in between. So I was just wee, 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 titty bounce. Then I did two, two rounds of shadow boxing. My rounds are three minutes each. My rest periods are 30 seconds each. So two rounds of shadow boxing, three rounds of back work. It took me about 50, 55 minutes. It felt amazing. And honestly, I needed to hit something. I've been stressed out lately. Boxing, getting hit, hitting back used to be therapeutic for me. Guys, I know I'm not a good boxer. I know I'm unorthodox. I know I have no skill. I know I'm basically, I'm a Derek Lewis out there, man. I'm hoping to land that fucking haymaker overhand right. All right, but I've gotten a lot better in two years and I fucking love it. You know what, like, okay, let me, let me see where I can go with this. Let me see where my mind's going. Let me try and metaphor. Let's say my wife really likes sex, all right? But she's not very good at it. I still think it's her right to have sex and I'm here to provide the penis for her to fornicate with. Boxing to me is like me having sex with my wife if she wasn't good at sex. See, boxing is letting me fuck it, okay? When I'm not very good at fucking, boxing being fucking, okay? And but I'm still gonna do it because I enjoy it. And boxing's allowing me to do that. So the heavy bag isn't passing judgment, Instagram is. The heavy bag is just getting punched. The person sparring with me, he's just punching back, right? But no one's judging my form or the fact that I started at 37 years old. It's just me enjoying a sport and enjoying its therapeutic benefits. And honestly, I think every man should undergo hand-to-hand -hand combat occasionally because I think it's just what men should fucking do. I think it's what we're wired for. Um, by the way, the shirt's getting really tight. I need to go up a size. I'm up to 228 pounds. I enjoy it. I'm gonna keep doing it. I know Instagram and YouTube hates it. I know you guys think I suck at it and you're right, but I fucking like it, all right? It is what it is. And I'm gonna film it because it's part of my life and I kind of document my life. So other than that, it was an off day from the gym. A few walks with my dog. Um, calories still. 500 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein, 100 grams of fat. That's around 4,200 calories. Um, yesterday I went out to barbecue. I kind of estimated those macros, but I still have my macros. Other than that, guys, that's my day. Um, my daughter has practice tonight, so I'm not really going to film much. This might be all you get, but I really appreciate you guys watching. And I apologize for that boxing footage in the background. I know I'm not very good, but, but... I actually fight, you know, I spar. I don't just hit bags. Bags don't hit back. You know, I put my money where my mouth is. And I've got my ass kicked by the best of them. And that's what I do. I get my ass kicked. That's not a game. So my daughter's at soccer practice, so I figured I'd go and stop in a local vitamin shop and drop them off a uh, case of Outright Bars for them to enjoy. Um, might as well support them, right? Like, we're gonna be in all vitamin shops across the United States, that's almost 800 stores and we're their biggest launch of the year. So let's go show some love. So it's the outright bar, man. It's all natural ingredients, made with real food. None of that, you ever you ever want to work out, you want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you a gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. Normally eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk. 
That's good. So it's like a cookie. Brilliant. 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 Hey. Good. If you want, we also have the, want to try the almond butter one while we're here? I'd love to. All right, so this, is, is, bar. this is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a one or two. Really? He's badass. Yeah. Good protein bars, working people good buddies. Well, they can find it at many retail stores. You can find it at tigerfitness.com. Two badass protein bars. So they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers up <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line.